Okay. R with Ricardo Roderick Rodericky Flowers the third, uh, you won locals with the new Exo Sister strategy. Uh, <laughs> the dumb dick. <laughs> All right, let's get into it then. Uh, well, you gotta play. You pretty much max out on all of the exosisters except for one. This one can summon itself if you control another. This one can summon one from hand. This one just says draw a card. And then this one puts back an exosister to draw a card. And they all can, on your opponent's turn, or if your opponent moves a card from the graveyard, summon an exes. This card searches any exosister card. And if you search a monster, you can special summon it. If you have the monster that the other one lists on your field or in your grave. This card is so you don't have to wait for your opponent to do things. It just you target an exo sister and exceed summon. This card is uh if you exceed summon an exo sister, declare one card name. Basically can't be used for the turn. It's negated. And this is rescue rated. Yeah, the card's insane. So there's two exo sisters from deck that list each other. And then during the end phase, shuffle the mech. Well, that locks you into Exo Sisters. And I play Parallel Exceed for Extenders. And Archfiend. Couldn't find Jigabytes, so I'll play Patrick <laughs> instead. That Jigabyte's pretty cool. Probably better. It's really good with Nib. Right, because you just have to have two monsters on the field. Well, also, you, you get a body. Token. You just summon it. Yeah, but what do you get off of it? Well, if you open, yeah, it's just free level four. Okay. Oh yeah, because then you can use your two extenders after you get nibbed, because it's a spellcaster, so you can you can still play if you open two of them. Yeah. Uh, fusion destiny package, because why not? Those cards are good. Uh, one token collector, because I had. I wanted to play three, but my side deck was full, so one's here. Three Ash, three Nib, three Emperor. Nice. Steady. Pretty cool. Stella draws into them all the time. <laughs> did you did you play deep? Did you summon DPE a lot? Is it like a DPE deck or is it just an uh, extra deck? You know what I'm saying? Summon DPE like three times maybe. Okay. So you won most of your games through the actual extra sister cards. Yeah, they're pretty cool. How's the PK matchup in this deck? Is it pretty good? <laughs> uh, yeah, you got a Bistola and you got a dude that says you can't special summon from the graveyard. That's pretty good. And also your dudes can't be destroyed by... Some of them can't be destroyed by card effects of monsters summoned from the grave. So like, in the grind game, DP is kind of dead. Uh, this can't be destroyed by battle from... Unless you're somewhere from the grave, you can quick effect banish and it searches a spell or trap. It searches a monster, I believe. This one is a quick effect negate. It's also, you can detach one to make all the XC summon monsters, or all XC's monsters gain 800, including the ones you summon after the effect. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, this one banishes from anywhere, right? It's not just grave, it's fuel or grave. It's fuel or grave. Okay. Uh, one of these is also a. I believe it's this one. This is like. Yeah, another player can. This one prevents people from special summoning from the grave for the rest of the turn. Mandatory effect. And this one's the Abyss Dwelling. Can't activate cards in the grave. Is that for both players or just the opponent? It's both players. And. It's also a bounce. <laughs> These cards seem kind of decent, dude. I'm not going to lie. That'd be pretty cool. Magusa never went into it. Uh, Utopia and the Lightning. One of those once. Zeus never made it. DPE made it a few times. Need this for a parallel since literally every Exosister is like 500 attack. <laughs> for DPE. Lina, it's really easy to go into because all the excess is white. And you just Selene access code since Lina is also a spellcaster, so this is like the easiest card to make. 
I OTK'd a lot of people. It's crazy. I didn't expect it. I was side deck of the last two token collectors. Three alpha. I think I saw that once. Scythe. Cosmic. Uh, the Sanctums for the Scythe. And then Evenly. I never sighted these in. And I think I sighted these in once because I only got to go first one game. Because <laughs> I went. I, didn't lose, I only lost one game all day. And that was the only time I got to side in the going first card. Yeah, most of the time he was just fucking people up. Just OTK the whole time. He just straight up two old people? I, he was old, clapping, dude. I two old almost everybody except Drytron. I two old it. Good God. Did you win the roll against the Drytron deck? Uh, no. <laughs> I won. <laughs> he, won the, he won the die roll. But I won game one, and then he won game two. And then Did he game break two. game one, or you cracked the board? Uh, no, he was comboing off, and then I nibbed him when he went ritual spell. Okay. And then I just like yep. set up since since I had nibbed, I did the line of play into access code, and it was game. <laughs> <laughs> so goofy. Uh, all right, uh, so this is the this is the top tier. New new thread of the format, I guess. The Exit Sisters. A 2 0 Despia, a 2 0 PK, a 2 0 Sword Soul Tangy, and then a 2 1 the, the Dry Tron. Easy peasy. Let's go. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Easy claps all around. Local champion, Roderick, dude.